correction is also known as muda of rework, or the waste incurred in correcting the defects. This form of waste often plagues organizations that are keen on traditional quality programs. In a desire to eliminate defects from the end product, organizations institute in process quality checks that route work with defects back for correction. While rework might be necessary in some cases, especially if materials are particularly valuable and work is worth saving rather than scrapping, it is still waste in the process that should be identified and analyzed. When rework occurs, it increases overall process time and uses additional labor and materials to create a smaller amount of products or outputs. Let's look at an example that might be found in the call center for a large automobile insurance company. Some of the calls coming into the center are from individuals who have sustained damage to vehicles in an accident. Consider the following process for handling such calls. Step 1. The caller reports damage to the car. Step 2. The representative records information in a computer form. Step 3. The representative makes a decision based on the information provided by the caller. Decision Alternative 1. The claim is routed for immediate handling if it is deemed an emergency. Decision Alternative 2. The claim is routed to Team A if it is a single car or active guard incident. Decision Alternative 3. The claim is routed to Team B if it is a multi-car accident. Now, imagine a claim that arrives in the work queue for an employee working on Team B. The information entered into the computer is incomplete so the employee cannot determine for sure if the claim is related to a multi-car accident. The employee might send the claim back to the original queue, which means a call center employee would have to call the insured back to gather additional information. The claim would then be routed again, according to the new information, and would wait in a work queue again. One of the biggest problems with muda of correction is that a case can often be made that the processing is necessary. Perhaps Team B is not equipped to deal with single car incidents, so the work has to be rerouted if the claim is to be completed. But why not equip downline team members to handle any claim, or create a process for routing claims to the correct team without sending the work back to the original queue? Correction, or rework, can occur in any type of process. Manufacturing processes cull out defective parts and products. Sometimes materials are reworked for a better outcome and sometimes they are scrapped, also a form of waste. Call centers and digital work queues are famous for rework, as it's easy to send work back and forth in a digital format. In some cases, rework occurs not because of correction, but simply because departmental or worker responsibilities overlap. To eliminate rework or correction, organizations must use a twofold approach. First, the root cause of the rework, that which is causing the errors, must be addressed. Is further employee training required? Could a process be changed to make it more mistake-proof? In some cases, the principles discussed in our later lectures on process control, including a strategy called a poker yoke, can be deployed to make it more difficult to create defects than to not create defects during a process. When defects are avoided, rework is also avoided. In addition to addressing the root cause of errors, organizations should create quality steps that reduce rework waste. In the example about the insurance company call center, we noted that it would be more efficient for the downline worker to reroute the claim to the correct team than to return it to the original team. This method sometimes causes a problem of culture, though, there is a feeling among leaders and staff that the first team or first team member should be held accountable for the error. One way of seeking accountability is to have that person correct his or her mistake. While reworking errors can be a good training method when time and resources allow, it isn't always feasible and doesn't make for an efficient daily process. Instead, employees might be more efficiently held accountable through goal setting and metrics for the greater good of the organization as a whole.